Hello, hello? I have arrived. Alright, so, tonight, like I said in my tweet, my new laptop is here. So, it's gonna be a pretty relaxed, non- I don't know, it's going to be a stream in which I don't play a video game, which is a rarity around here, somewhat. But, uh, but yes. A stream in which I do not play a video game, and instead I will be taking some time to get the new laptop set up. And just sort of hanging out as I do, I suppose. But yeah, so, let's see. So, for business for today, let's see. Today, is that the thing that I just described happening? Tomorrow, we should be seeing some more Tales of Arise. Thursday, we should be seeing some more VA11 Hall A Cyberpunk Bartender action with our good friend Sheppy Sheps. And then on Friday, we should be seeing a little bit more of Tales of Arise. Yeah, I know originally, I wasn't quite sure if I would be in town for that, because I was planning on going out of town towards the end of this month for a short period of time. And so, yeah, I can confirm now that as far as I'm aware, as of current plans, I will be in town for on Friday, and I don't think I'll have any reason to be, you know, delaying anything or anything for that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, all of this is to say that the Friday stream should go as planned, basically. It will, it will happen. It will happen, assuming that nothing terribly g wrong happens. Which is always a possibility. But yes. So, Tales will Rise. Okay, right, right, right. So another thing. I am currently in town, but my housemates, the people that I live with, are currently not in town. So the, the dog is currently unattended in the other room, and so you may hear him, uh, may hear him ca causing a ruckus. But yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot have him in my room while I am streaming because there are too many things that he will likely chew on because he is very young. He's like six months old. So, unfortunately, I cannot have him uh, in here because I cannot spare the spare the attention to supervise him properly. And there are too many things in here that I don't want him biting. And he is too prone to biting things for my comfort. But yes, so, I feel like I'm a little bit quiet today. I don't... I don't know that that's actually true or if that's just something that I'm perceiving. My audio setup's a little bit different than usual because I'm currently I'm currently streaming from my desktop. Usually I stream from my laptop, my old laptop previously, but uh, that laptop is no longer no longer necessary, so I am not using it. Yeah, we had a good run that that laptop and I. I've had it for I think just shy of 10 years at this point. Pretty close to that. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I don't remember precisely when I got it offhand, but somewhere around eight years, I think, is... Eight years ago is as specific as I can think of. <laughs> as specific as I can think of uh, having gotten it. But, but yes. So we had a good run, and it still works, you know. <laughs> it's not like it died or anything. So this is not a memorial service. But, but yeah, that laptop was not, you know, it was showing its age. But yeah, it was showing its age most most so <laughs> in the fact that it, it crashed last week when we were streaming on Tuesday. Fortunately, that was well after the stream, the bulk of the stream had ended. So it's not like anything of tremendous value was lost, but I did get I did miss out on a I did miss out on a raid, unfortunately. I always like to raid at the end of the stream. I guess it's not necessary. It's not necessary, but I enjoy it. So yeah, like I said, this is... Well, actually, hold on. <laughs> I think I transitioned out of the business a little bit too quickly. I'm a little bit too laid back now, I think. So, let's get back into business. Hold <laughs> Let us enter business mode once again. So, today, this, this what is happening right now, me chatting. Tomorrow, Tales of Arise, 7.30 p.m. Central Time-ish, uh, due to having to prepare all of my own meals and take care of the dog, these streams may be delayed somewhat, but yeah. 
So they could, yeah, could be delayed by as much as I would say 30 minutes. Probably not much more than that, though. If, if that. But yes. And that'll just be for the next two days. I should make clear. Yeah, that'll be for the next two days until, yeah, until... Actually, it might be... I don't remember if they're coming back Thursday or Friday, so it might be for the next one days. But we'll see, I suppose. Yes. Um... Where was I? Hmm. Oh, right. So... 7... 7.30 or 8... or 8 p.m., roughly, Wednesday. 8.30 or... 9 p.m., roughly Thursday, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, Friday, and that should cover us. That should cover us. But yeah, so at this point, at this point, I'm pretty well into, uh, yeah, at this point I am, have most of the most important things installed on my new laptop already. I have Steam installed, and crucially, I have Tales of Arise installed. I'm planning on using that, using that laptop for most of my game streaming going forward because it is a little bit better than my desktop at this point. It is a little bit better than my desktop. Pardon. Yeah, it's only a slight step up, but I figured, you know, Getting the upgrades that I would need, getting the upgrades that I want, at least, for my desktop would cost me a similar amount of money, plus my laptop was getting a little bit old and unreliable. And again, as if to, as if to illustrate that point on the day that I mentioned that on stream, the laptop crashed at the end of the stream. Yes, my laptop was getting a little bit old and unreliable, so I just decided, you know what, I want to get a new laptop, I want to get a slightly better computer. So why not get a laptop that is slightly better than my current computer? That way, you know, I don't have to upgrade my desktop super, you know, super soon or anything. And I can wait for, you know, wait until a more opportune opportunity, perhaps. But yeah, so I've already got Steam installed. We've already got Tales of Arise installed. Already got OBS installed. Yeah, so I feel like a lot of this will be, will be me you know, porting over my OBS stuff and assets and whatnot over to the new computer. Though there will be a few other things. But yes. I'll probably be pausing a little bit here and there. If you're looking for a super exciting stream, you probably won't find it here. But, let's see. Yeah, okay. I guess there's no, there's no other games that I need to install on this right away. Though so actually, well, I don't know. I was thinking about, you know, when I do the collab streams with Sheps currently, when we're playing uh, VA11 Holly Cyberpunk Bartender Action, I never get tired of, of speaking out the full title of this game, in case you're wondering. Yes, when we were playing that together, generally speaking, the, uh, we use, uh, yeah, we use Parsec. A program called Parsec, so that I can she can stream her stream her gameplay to my to my computer basically. So that is what we use, and yeah, that I was thinking about installing that on my new laptop, but I really don't think I need to at this point, if at all, ever really, because yes, I do use the yeah I I don't use two two computers to. I don't use two computers for those ge for those streams because I'm not playing a video game at all. Because yeah, the whole the whole point of using two computers for streams is to offload work onto a different computer, and essentially Sheps is already doing that for me. So I don't feel the need to have one computer with like, you know, the Parsec feed or whatever, then have another computer that I'm actually doing the streaming on, and all of that when I'm doing those streams. That seem that just seems a little bit unnecessary. And even if it wasn't, Parsec isn't a super, isn't a super demanding program. Yeah, so another thing that I'm doing today is I'm using the, like, VTube Studio has a sort of, as a, an RTX, I don't know what it's, what it's called per se, but it's a different type of tracking. 
that utilizes some some manner of RTX technology, basically. And so yeah, so I'm currently testing that out. Yeah, the I don't know, I've not had great results with it in the past. It's a little bit fiddly, I think. It's especially it especially has difficulty with my eyes, with my eye tracking. So we're probably we're getting some I don't know, less than ideal results, but I am also looking at the camera from a weird angle currently. Because yeah, my laptop is off to the side here. I'll probably need to figure out a better way to, a uh, better place to put it. But it is what it is for right now. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is weird, weird. It looks weird. But I suppose it's, to a certain degree, it is inevitable. Such, such is the life. But yes. So, now we get to play a fun and exciting game of Do I Remember? <laughs> do I Remember What? Do I Remember What External Hard Drive I Put All of My OBS Stuff On? The answer is no. But, now we get to play an even more fun and exciting game of did, is the fir first guess that I took correct? And it seems that it is, yes. So nice, we can just import that into OBS. It's unfortunate that you can't, there's, as far as I'm aware, there's no, like, option to just, like, consolidate all of your, you know, all of your assets and whatnot from OBS into the... Oh, also, I should remember. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, all right. Anyway. Oh, right. Um, hmm. Right. I forgot that I need to... <laughs> I forgot that I need to sign into Twitch on this thing. I guess I don't need to need to, but I would like to, certainly. But yes. This thing being the OBS on my new computer, of course. But yes, um, ba -ba -ba. yeah, so I need to sign into OBS, and that is a slight problem, because, you know, I'm using my phone to capture video right now, and that is what I have my Authenticator app on, so we may see some more odd video here in just a second. Ba -ba -ba. Connect account, because yeah, this will almost certainly, almost certainly require me to use my two-factor authentication. If not, then it's probably the two-factor authentication isn't doing its job. <laughs> yeah, in a vaguely related, uh, vaguely related topic, I heard that, uh, yeah, I heard that there was a, a, yeah, a security breach of some variety or like a data leak. I don't know, I don't think it was a leak. I think it was a hack specifically of like Twitter recently. Yeah, they, a lot of, uh, a lot of sensitive information was uh, stolen, basically. So, if you are a Twitter user, you might want to, you know, consider changing your passwords and all that. I don't know... Come to think of it. <laughs> come to think of it, I don't remember what exactly was... Yeah, what was lost, basically. But... Yeah, I don't know what was uh, stolen. But I know that, you know, it's... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Long story short, you might want to change some of your information related to Twitter if you if you can. Yeah. Fortunately, I guess yeah, I should probably go and do that too now that I think about it. I do I do have two-factor authentication for my Twitter. So it shouldn't be too terribly vulnerable right now, but yeah. But yeah, I know that there was also for some users, like some personal information was leaked, which is which is unfortunate as well. Fortunately for me, at least, I don't have a whole lot of. Uh, I don't really have any. I don't even have my phone number attached to my Twitter account, really. Now that I think about it, always good to be somewhat cautious with these things, to a certain extent. But yeah, no matter you know, no matter a website's track record. Anyone can suffer a data breach or, you know, su suffer a security breach at any point, in theory. So, it is what it is. You gotta know, 
you know, every everything that you do to a certain extent involves some amount of risk. Yeah, everything that you do involves a certain amount of risk. You can never completely eliminate the risk of whatever it is you're doing. So you've just got to be willing to willing to take risks and willing to decide what risks are worth taking or what benefit they will grant you. And of course, now I don't remember where I put the cables that I need to connect everything properly. I'm very disorganized. <laughs> very disorganized here. Because, yeah, one, one other thing I was wanting to... I usually use a... It's a... What's the word I'm looking for? It is a, like, display tablet. It's a, you know, a drawing tablet with a display on it. This isn't the proper thing, I don't think. Hold on. Um, this? No, don't do that. Um, what am I? There we go. Anyway, <laughs> where was I? I was talking about something, I'm sure. Um, okay, that's all good. Oh, right, I was talking about, I use a display tablet. I use a display tablet to uh, display things on. I use it as a second monitor. I was wanting to connect that to my laptop, but I don't uh, I don't remember where I put the cable for it. Or, well, I do have the cables, because it's currently attached to my desktop, so I could just unplug it from that and use the same cables for my... Oh, that's interesting. But yes, I could just use the same... Hmm, I should probably... Yeah, that, that's fine. That is fine. Oh, right. And I've also got to... Yes, yes. <clears throat> well, anyway. So, I could just use the same cable. But one thing that I want to do, that I would like to do ideally, is this This laptop has a display port, or a display port, a USB-C out that supports display port technology. So instead of having one cable that like branches into three different connections, two of which I need to have connected to my computer in order to get video from it. I could just plug one cable into it and one cable into the yeah, one cable into the laptop and one cable into the into the display tablet and have it just work. And which I'm very excited about. Yeah, I will I do use my second screen on my streaming computer. So I won't get a whole lot of use out of that while I'm streaming. But it'll be nice when I'm not streaming, I guess. Yeah, another thing is this new laptop is running Windows 11, which I'm not super, super familiar with. Not super familiar with. Yeah. I usually, I'm not the sort of person who updates my Windows version as quickly as possible. Usually I hold off on that as long as I can. Because yeah, I don't, I don't think, I didn't use Windows 8 at all. I completely skipped Windows 8. And I didn't use, buh, buh, buh. that's not right. Um, yeah, I didn't use, I didn't use Windows 8 at all. I didn't use Windows 8.1 at all. Yeah, I only I only stopped using I only stopped using Windows 7 basically when I got a computer that didn't have Windows 7 on it. Cuz yeah, you know, I don't <clears throat> I don't necessarily want to I don't like to change my Windows version super often, but I'm not the sort of person that is so bothered by it that I would go out of my way to use an older Windows version. Like install an older older Windows version onto a computer. Let's see. Let's see, I'm currently just installing some, or I'm currently downloading some. Well, one of the things I just downloaded was some plugins for my OBS. Because I figure probably at least some of the stuff that I will need that I will use my OBS for does require those. It does require those. Yeah. 
one of the plugins that I use is not currently not currently updated for this most recent version of uh, most recent version of OBS. So if I'm streaming on the laptop versus on the desktop, you will you will be able to notice a difference if you are particularly keen eyed. But yes, it's not a huge, huge deal, but it does. Yeah, it. I do lose out on a lot of flexibility and a lot of options for streaming off if I were to stream on the laptop versus if I were to stream on the desktop. But yeah, most of it isn't stuff that I use frequently, but it will be a noticeable difference. Of course, with my desktop being pretty good. You know, it's good enough to play games on. It's good enough that I could stream on just it, really, and play a game. That's what I did for a very long time. But yeah, it's good enough that I could do that, and only really stopped when I started playing... I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I didn't even really switch to a two-computer setup because I needed to. I just sort of switched to it because I, it was suggested to me. Because uh, my peers were doing that, and they... They rated it highly, so I figured, you know what, I will give this a chance as well. I will give this a chance as well, and I've enjoyed it quite a bit. Honestly, honestly, the reason I've enjoyed it most is just so I can have more screens. Before, I only had, you know, I had the, well, more screens and easier access to my OBS. You know, previously, I just had the one, or I had two screens. I had one screen, you know, I'm looking at right now. And then I had one off to the side here. And that was that. Now I have, you know, one one screen off to my other side. <laughs> I have a screen off to my other side. I have, you know, this screen, this screen beneath me. And I have this screen on which I'm playing the, or well, in on which I would theoretically be playing a game if I were playing a game, which I am not. So I guess I'll probably, I'll need to put the laptop up on where I currently have my, up where I currently have my monitor, and move the monitor down, which will be weird. <laughs> That'll be kind of weird, but it is what it is. But yeah, and what it is is weird, as we just established. But yeah, I guess that's not strictly necessary, but I would prefer to have the. Yeah, I would prefer to have the, you know, screen that I'm looking at be up here so that I can look directly at the camera when necessary. I'd rather the, stre the screen be up here rather than up, down, down, and, yeah. Down here and over. Because that, I feel like, is just kind of, it's a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird to be looking off to the side the whole time. And I just realized my webcam was backwards. Anyway, where was I? So yeah, installing some plugins for OBS, installing some of my drawing software as well. I do, yeah, I did actually look into that recently. The the plugins that I use that I that are not that are not up to date with this most recent version of uh, OBS. The plugins I use, or the plugin that I use, the one plugin that I use, because I only use two plugins total. Yeah, the one plugin that I use that is not currently up to date is called uh, StreamFX. StreamFX, which allows me to do a number of things, but among, but the most important of, among them, yeah, the most important among them, or at least the one that I use the most frequently, is the ability to uh, create source mirrors. I believe I don't remember if that's actually what the proper term is. But something to that effect. Yeah, a source mirror which allows me to allows me to, you know, put the the Yeah, make a copy of a source and, you know, act upon that copy in a way that doesn't impact the original source. But yeah, there might be ways to simulate that sort of thing but generally speaking you know what you do to a source if you make a copy of that source affects the copies of that source as well and what you do to those copies affects the original and all of that and you know i just kind of didn't want to deal with that basically i didn't want to have to deal with all of that ideally 
or, you know, I don't want to deal with that. Moreover, oh, whoops. Yeah, once again, some difficulties navigating the bizarre landscape of Windows 11. But it is what it is, I suppose. Alright, so we've got the one, the one, yeah, I use StreamElements.Live, I guess, is what it's called. The one plugin that I use. Honestly, I don't even, I don't know what it does, <laughs> to be honest. I don't remember what it does, actually. So I don't know why I have it installed. Maybe I don't need it installed. Because, yeah, I use it, I do use Stream Elements for my alerts. Oh, speaking of which, I just remembered. If it'll play, there we go. Alienated Tuna, thank you for the follow. But yes. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, I use Stream Elements for the alerts, but I guess I don't know that I, I don't know that I need the actual, I don't know that I need the plugin for that, now that I think about it, because they're, it's a browser source, if I remember correctly, yeah. Yeah, it's a browser source. So in theory, that's not, that's completely unnecessary. So I could have zero plugins installed on this new computer until such time as StreamFX gets updated. Oh, speaking of which, right. I was going to talk about StreamFX. Or I was going to talk about the update status of StreamFX. Yeah, so currently it is not, it is not current with the most recent version of, it is not current with the most recent version of OBS, unfortunately. Yeah, it is not current, but, and yeah, and I looked into it, and unfortunately it is not going to be current until they, they get into 2. or, yeah, version 29 of OBS, 29.x, all of those, because there's, I don't know, there's something, there are some, there's some fixes or something that's, that are coming out in, tw in, in version 29 that, yeah, that will be, I don't know, I don't know if they're necessary, or if the developer just doesn't want to, doesn't want to design, you know, doesn't want to update it for one, one version when the next one is going to just be better in some, some specific way. Some specific way. I don't do software development, I don't know things. <laughs> but yes, I did, you know, I did do a little bit of programming in college for my video game design or my video game design studies. I did not enjoy, I did not enjoy the programming. <laughs> I did not enjoy the programming very much. It's not, I don't know. I don't know, there's probably, I was going to say that it's probably not the most, the most enjoyable part of any given project, any given software project, but there's probably people who do genuinely enjoy it on its own merits. I shouldn't assume things like, I shouldn't assume that it's not fun to some people just because it's not fun to me. But yes. Let's see, let's see. That's, that's good, that's good. That's, I don't know why that wasn't working before. It might help if I actually talk about what I'm doing <laughs> rather than simply mumbling simply mumbling about about things that you cannot possibly understand because you cannot perceive them. Yeah, I was just looking over some of my NVIDIA GeForce settings. Because I had something, I had the, like, overlay, I had the overlay. I wanted to use the, the overlay to, like, record a, a clip of a, of a game that I was playing the other day. Elden Ring, incidentally. By the way, I got Elden Ring, finally. <laughs> I don't plan on playing it on stream anytime in the near future. But, uh, but yes, I do have Elden Ring now. Yeah, definitely, definitely something for a good ways off. Because, yeah, we're still expecting, we're still expecting that, yeah, Tales of Arise is going to take a, a good long while yet. Going to take a good long while yet. Yeah, I think. Don't. Um. Hmm. Now that I think about it, what do I remember? I made a a spreadsheet to calculate based on the amount of time that I've spent playing a game and the expected time to beat the game. 
I made a spreadsheet to track how long, yeah, how long any given game will take me to stream. And I think, I think we're up to like 30 or so hours, or at least, if not 30 hours, at least close enough, close enough to 30 hours. So that, yeah, that leaves us with, yeah, we're expected to, expected to, yeah, seven and a half weeks. Really expecting another seven and a half weeks of Tales of Arise. Assuming, you know, it's two streams a week, two hours per stream, roughly. Which has not really been the rate that we've been going at recently. We've been generally playing for shorter periods of time, and we've been playing less than twice a week on average. So, it'll probably take a little bit longer than that. Yes. I've got... Ah, right, right, right. Okay, so I've got the scenes imported into into OBS. Now I need to up import my profile. And then, once we're there... Is that... I think this is correct, what I've just done. I hope this is correct, what I've just done. Okay, I think this is correct, what I've just done. We should be good. So, hmm. Maybe we aren't, actually. Uh, because now I don't see my activity area. Um, let's see. Docs. Where, where did it go? Yeah, where's my stream information? Um. No, nope, nope, that didn't work. That has made things substantially worse, actually. Uh oh. All right. Well, we fixed. I managed to get. I accidentally got rid of chat. Uh, the chat's back now on the other, the other, the other stream. So that's fine. I don't know. Yeah, I'm still not entirely sure where. I'm not entirely sure where the. I don't know what that is. Huh. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I can't see my stream information. Yeah, that should... I've got it in the profile that I exported. Like, I have it. I know that I have it because it's there. Like, I'm looking at the computer that I exported the profile from right now. I'm looking at OBS and I can see it. So I don't know why when I switch over to the other profile, it's just gone. Hmm. Let's see. Because I know... Hmm. You know, each of these is essentially just a, each of these is essentially just a URL, or at least it's a, it's a sort of, it's something like that, I think, is how they work in OBS, or at least you can use a URL for them. I don't know, hmm, I don't know why it goes away when I switch over to the profile that should, to a profile that should have it. I also don't know why chat went away when I did that. So it's it's definitely not there. So, hmm. um, yeah. Okay. So yeah. So I need to I need the URL if I want the I need the URL if I want the to re-add it. But quite frankly, I'm still more more interested in why it was gone in the first place. But of course, I'm not logged into Twitch on this computer either. Oh dear. Don't do that. I forgot, I also don't have... I don't have Firefox set to block autoplay on this computer. So now, when people are doing things on the front page of Twitch, I can hear their videos. And that's no good. Nobody wants that. Alright, Twitch. Gotta log in again. Nope, that's not it. There we go. Alright. 
So I should be able to, yeah, if I go to my, to my, what's the word I'm looking for? My stream manager. I should be able to, don't do that. Yes, I should be able to pop out. Yeah, there we go. No, that didn't. Okay, it's not popped out, but I should be able to pop out the, I should be able to pop out the stream info thing. And then, or at least I know, I know that I've had this issue before and that's how I fixed it. I was able to pop it out, get the URL and then add that into OBS. But now, uh, that's not, it's, it's not happening. So that is moderately, moderately concerning. Hmm. Cause yeah, let's see. Docs. It won't. Hmm. Um, that, no, that's not it. No, yeah, that was for something unrelated. But yeah, why, why is it? Yeah, that was, yeah, that was something else. Hmm. Well, I guess maybe we'll just close OBS and then we'll reopen it and we'll see if things have resolved themselves. Probably the answer to that question is going to be no. But, you know, maybe, maybe it'll work. Also, I'll need to, there we are. I will need to unplug my, yeah, unplug my external hard drive, plug that into the main computer here. Because I will need to, yeah, get all of the, all of the assets. I'll need to get all of the assets that uh, I was using before or that I am currently using now. And I'll need to get the assets that I'm using now so that I can, you know, use them. But yeah, in theory, in theory, I don't need to do that immediately. I don't need to do that immediately because the... Yeah, I don't need to do that immediately because the new computer, for the time being, will only be used to play the video game, in this case, Tales of Arise. But yes, it will only be used to play that specific video game. All right, yeah, I've restarted it. I've restarted it and I still don't have my stream information back. So that's moderately concerning. Um, that's not anything. That's not anything. Hmm. Cause yeah, I know that I, I know that I have had this issue before. I know that I've had this issue before, but I don't remember how to fix it. I guess that is why we are able to look things up. Yes. OBS. Mean info panel. Gone. Missing, perhaps. information hmm all right the first result that I that I got suggests that I re-log into twitch so I guess I'll do that real quick disconnect reconnect Yeah, another thing that I've done recently that I typically don't do is I've uh, gone. I was going back earlier today, and I listened to uh, one of my vods, specifically the Pokemon uh, Pokemon Snap vod. All right, I've done. I've done as was requested. Of, you know, it has not fixed the problem. Oh nope, there we go. The problem is now fixed. Cool. So yeah, I guess it just forgot in some way that I was connected to to Twitch or at least I don't know it was still in my chat so clearly it didn't completely forget but anyway so yeah so one thing that I was doing earlier today is I reviewed one of my VODs 
or at least in part. I didn't have time to watch the whole thing because I needed to get ready for stream and I needed to take care of my... I needed to feed myself, to feed my... to feed the beast, the animal, the dog. But yes. I... where was I? Oh yes. So. Watching over a VOD. I think I want to do that a little bit more going forward. I want to watch my, my VODs a little bit more so I can, you know, sort of critique myself. I want to, I want to see where I can improve. And one, one thing that I definitely think I can improve on is my enunciation. I have a tendency to trail off a little bit, as I just demonstrated. I have a tendency to trail off a little bit. I have a tendency to not speak super clearly. So I want to try to be a little bit stronger with my enunciation to make it more clear what I'm saying, you know. Yeah, make it a little bit more clear what I'm saying. Okay, so now OBS is in roughly the state that I want it to be in, basically. Yeah, or at least it is in a state. It is in a state where it is usable. Yeah, it isn't. It is in a state where it is usable, so I can't complain too much about that. But now I need to close it and open it again. Or no, actually, I don't need to do that. Right. I can just click the look for missing files button and then I can figure out what files that I'm missing and then I can put those onto the hard drive and then I can transfer those over. One thing that I definitely should be doing and that I haven't done is I should consolidate all of my assets into a place where it is convenient to access them on my streaming computer so that if I ever do need to back them up or if I do need to transfer them over to another computer again for whatever reason, it is easy for me to do so. Yeah, ideally, you know, I shouldn't need to do this very often, mind you, but whenever I do need to do it, it'll be, you know, nice to be able to do it. Yes, yeah, so this, okay, this is, oh, this, yeah, this is very useful. Yeah, this, this tells me not only what is missing, but it also tells me where it is located on the computer that it came from. So that's nice. So yeah, that should make this a lot, a lot more convenient. So, pardon me as I roll away real quick. I return. I have returned, maybe, perhaps even. And then we'll, yeah, just make a folder on this external hard drive for assets. And hopefully, hopefully, I will think to keep them in a more organized, some somewhat more organized when I get around to, yeah, when I get around to putting them on the new computer. So, yeah, so most of what we need are the overlays and whatnot. Really, I could probably get away with just that, for the most part. 99.999% of what I do is just that, basically. Or what I use is just that, the overlays, the backgrounds, and all that. Yeah, I might actually have these a little bit better organized than I, than I thought I did, now that I think about it. Because yeah, all of those, yeah, all of these are in a file. That one's in a different file. Or in a different folder. That one's also in a different folder where it shouldn't be. I guess it doesn't... It's not necessarily somewhere where it shouldn't be, but it's somewhere where it's... where it's not among the rest of its kind. Among the rest of the assets. So yeah, for the most part, I can just actually... Oh, that's also... I don't know why that's... That's a weird place for that to be. Again, I'm talking about things that you cannot possibly perceive. <laughs> so, I should probably refrain from that to some extent. Alright, copy that over. 113 gigabytes. What? Oh, right, right, right. So, okay, not that. I accidentally just almost copied over my videos. Which, you know is not the worst thing in the world, I guess. Those do need to be backed up, but 
I don't want to do that right now, and I think most of them should already be backed up. Alright, so that is everything except my VODs backed up. Yeah, the VODs, most of the VODs should be backed up anyway. And I guess, you know, even if they're not, they're online. So the backup is just, I guess, for if, if something happens to them while they are online. Alright, so that should be everything from this folder. So now I just need to figure out what assets are from different folders. Alright, that one... That one's in my downloads. I really need to organize my downloads folder better. Or rather, I need to get things out of it. Because I have a tendency to just, just put things in it. And never clear it out. Which is not good. Not good at all. It's, you know, survivable, certainly. But, honestly, I'd really prefer it if I didn't do that. Yeah, it just makes things a little bit harder to a little bit harder to navigate. Let's see. Now I'm getting my background music, which I yeah, okay, I do have the background music on. So no worries about that. What folder was that in again? Okay, okay. And then Yes, okay. That's fine, I think. That, it should be fine. Ah, hello all. Izzy, hope you're doing well. New computer hype. I am doing well. Thank you for asking. So, yeah. I did, I did spill a little bit of, of pretty hot water on my hand earlier, so that's a little bit painful. But other than that, I'm doing very good. Yeah, thanks for dropping by. Yeah, the new computer, if you were wondering, is also doing pretty well for me. We're having no issues so far on it, which is good because I just purchased it. It'd be, quite frankly, it'd be a little bit concerning if I, if I was already having issues. Let's see, that... Oh no, I don't need both of these, but I will take at least one of them. Alright, that should be... Okay, that should be all of my assets collected. I think. Alright, alright. So, with that, I should be able to just... Yeah, I should be able to just disconnect my external hard drive, plug that into the other computer, and get everything transferred over. Very nice, very nice. notable things about this new computer is just how it, it makes very different sounds than the old computer. It makes very different sounds. The like default various windows noises are notably distinct. I kind of like them a lot better, to be honest. Kind of a lot. Yes, I like them a lot better. This should be fine. Yeah, all in all, this is a pretty pretty good new computer. Yeah, the the only the only major shortcoming of it is the fact that it only has about 500 gigabytes. It only has about a 500 gigabyte capacity on its uh, hard drive. Yes, one of the selling points of it was the fact that you can. It is designed such that you can install more hard drives on it. Specifically, you know, M dot M dot two. SSDs on it. So probably before too long I'll end up doing that to shore up some of its weaknesses or shore up its only major weakness. Yeah, I will do that to shore up its only major weakness. And then we will be more powerful than ever. Yeah, probably... You can get memory for, or you can get storage for relatively cheap nowadays. So probably I, I might, I might go and put two gig, two terabytes on it. Two gigabytes would be, I don't think they sell two, two gigabyte 
<laughs> hard drives anymore. Certainly not in that form factor, I don't think. Well, I mean, they, they might, I guess, but... Honestly, it would probably... It'd probably be more expensive to buy a, a 2 gigabyte hard drive than it would be to buy a 2 terabyte hard drive, which is what I meant to say. Yeah, 2 terabytes is probably a lot more than I need, per se, but it'll let me use this computer more casually as well. Because yeah, right now it only really has enough space for me to, you know, have a few games on it. So it doesn't have a whole lot of flexibility in that way. I can't have too much in addition to whatever games I want for stream. Because yeah, like Tales of Arise is about 50 gigabytes or so, which is, you know, just in that alone, just in that one game alone is 50 or is 10% of the storage capacity of this hard drive. And you know, in addition to that, I need to have other programs. I need to have, you know, the assets for my streams. I probably won't be putting VODs on this, I won't be storing VODs on this stream or on this computer because that is, you know, I will run out of space for them very quickly. But yeah, anyway, like I was saying, you know, there is not a lot of space on here for anything else. So while it isn't an immediate concern, it will be something that I will need to fix pretty soon, putting more storage in this thing if I want to use it if I want to use it for my own purposes as well as for the purposes of streaming, which ideally I would like to do. Alright, so now I've got all of my assets. Or at least I should have all of my assets unless I've forgotten something. But I should. 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 Oh yeah. Yeah, looking at it right now, I just double checking. Yeah, we have... I'm currently at... Yeah, I've... About half of the storage space on this on this computer is already taken up just in the few games that I have installed. Yeah, just in the few games that I have installed and the other stuff. So I could also Yeah, Steam does allow you to install games to a port or to an external hard drive. And so I have I have actually done that. Installed a few installed a few games to one of my external hard drives. I've got like a lot of them. <laughs> I've got like four of them. I've got an external hard drive that I use for my Wii U. I've got an external hard drive that I use for my PS4. And then I've got two external hard drives. One that I use just for my own personal life business. And one that I use exclusively for stream business. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of storage space in between all of those, but yeah, a lot of storage space in between all of those. I guess, yeah, the, the ones that I use for the consoles are only really usable for those consoles specifically. If I, because yeah, I think if I tried to use them for <coughs> anything else, they would need to be formatted. If for nothing else, for, yeah, they need to be formatted when I use those for, for them, when I use them for those consoles. Yeah, I currently have about 100, 100 gigabytes worth of games installed on this on this new laptop, and that's just like that is 100 gigabytes across six games. I have six games installed on it because yeah, games nowadays are pretty big. <laughs> games nowadays are pretty big. In case you're wondering what those games are, they're Risk of Rain 2, Terraria. Actually, it's five games. Because one of these is just Steam. It's just some miscellaneous Steam things. I should probably do the thing that I was going to and uh, import my assets into OBS. Okay. That, oh, right, right, right. This is... No, that's not anything. Huh. Where were these? Apparently they're not in the where I thought they were. <coughs> okay, there we go. And those Oh, oh, those were in a completely different place. Oh dear. Alright. Yeah, I was not paying close enough attention there. So, gotta got to unplug. 
USB device, external hard drive. I've got to plug it in again to the other computer. I guess maybe it's unnecessary, but you know, I try to, whenever I look over and see that I'm sort of frozen in a weird, weird face, I usually try to change it into a less weird face, but you know, honestly, it's of little concern. But yes, okay. So, most of this stuff. What is. Did I not? Hmm. I guess. Oh no, right. I know where that is. I did import that. So that's where it should be. Oh, I just realized. Well. I guess, yeah. I was going to say I don't need to do it now, but I've set aside two hours for me to do it, so to for me to set up this new computer, so I might as well do it now. <laughs> It'd be, quite frankly, it would be silly not to. But, um, yeah, I'll also need to get my, my model, my VTuber model, put over onto this new computer. Actually, I don't, I don't know that I have VTube Studio installed on it yet. I indeed do not. Again, it's not strictly necessary, but in case I ever do need to, yeah, in case I ever do need to stream specifically on this laptop and this laptop alone, which is not outside of the realm of possibility, in case I ever do need to, it'll be better to have that done now rather than later. Sit. Yeah, if we if we do get this finished up pretty quick, I don't know. I might. Yeah. Well, I don't know. If, I don't know. If, yeah, I don't know if Twitch will uh, would allow me to switch which OBS I'm streaming from in the middle of the stream. I was gonna say I might. I might test out the new computer, but that would require or test out streaming from the new computer, but that would require a lot of other work. <laughs> Probably I'd just do a test recording. I don't imagine... Yeah, I'd probably just do a test recording because the test stream shouldn't really be of any great concern. There shouldn't be anything that needs to be done in particular with that. Anyway, I realize now that I've forgotten what I was, what I was in the middle of doing. Oh, right. I need to locate some assets. Yeah, it's okay. And I need, and I know where those are now. I really need to clean up my, <laughs> I need to clean up my, uh, file organizational structure, to be honest. Or rather, I need to, I have sort of two organizational structures that I use. I have two organizational structures that I use, and I need to put things that were in the old organizational structure into the new one. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, I need to get the get them updated. I don't tend to do that because I don't want to I don't want to go through the hassle of moving things around, you know, shortcuts breaking and all that. But, you know, it's worth doing probably so that I can say with a good deal of confidence where things will be. Um, that is that. Hmm. Honestly, honestly, I'll just... There's a lot more stuff than the stream assets in this particular folder. There's a lot more things than the stream assets in this particular folder. I think I'm just going to copy everything. I'm just going to copy everything and we're going to sort it out later. Because yes. Um... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just move everything over, and we're gonna sort it out later. Well, no, I probably shouldn't do that. I should. Okay, I was just talking about how I should be more organized, so I'm gonna be more organized. I'm gonna I'm going to make this clean. I'm not gonna mess around. I'm going to go over everything. Let's see, I did. Yeah, it's okay. That that is as it is. Right, that is as it should be. Yes, I'm going to do this properly. I'm going to get everything 
clean, clean and neat and tidy and organized so that I don't have to busy out. All of the, again, with the fact that I have specifically set aside, you know, the two hours of this stream for me to do this. Yeah. The fact that I've set aside these two hours means that any time that I spend, you know, not doing that, any time that I spend not doing that now, when I've set the time aside for it, is wasted in the, in, in the end. Yes. Um, it'd be really nice if these were in alphabetical order, but... Oh well. Because yeah, I'm just having to... Yeah, um... Okay, that... Should... Not... Okay, that's... This is unnecessary, that's good. Okay. <laughs> Incomprehensible. Have a nice day. Yes, all of these should be fine. None of those are on the list, I don't think. And if they are, I guess we can always fix it again. That. I don't need that one. Which seems a little bit odd, but I'm not going to be too concerned about it. Um, those are fine. Given how few of these assets I actually need, it might be, rather than going through and picking picking which ones to delete, it might, I might just, it might be better to pick what, which one, to pick all of them, and then just pick out, unselect the ones that I don't want to delete. And yes, I have double checked that I'm deleting them from the, the unnecessary ones from the assets that I'm going to be transferring over, in case anyone was concerned for me. There's a lot of reason to be, but in this case, it should be fine. Oh, actually, why are these... Or no, right, right, right. That's fine. That is perfectly acceptable. That... Oh no, right. That's... That is also fine. These... No, I don't need any of these. Because yeah, now I'm just getting my... Yeah, my waiting and prep screen backgrounds. Those, okay. Okay, I know which ones I need. Yep. I don't need that one, I don't think. Yeah, no. Yep. Okay, that one can go. That one can go. Ah, oh, no, that's... Yeah, that's... Oh, wait, hold on. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay, we're good. That one can stay. That one... Should stay. That one should stay. Okay, this should be fine. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm, let me see. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven files there that I need. And indeed, there are seven files here. They look to be all the same, but, you know, we'll find out when we transfer them over, I guess. But yes, they should be fine. Everything should be okay, basically, at this point. So, you will transfer everything over. You will transfer everything over. And then, we will make things uh, functional, basically. All right. So, it's plugged into the other computer now. The external hard drive is. So, that, there we go. And the assets. And, okay, these ones can go here. Oh no, those ones I've already imported. Do I... Okay, I need the music. And I need the things in that folder. Okay, okay. This... Good. Mm. Do I need to really neaten things up that much? Mm. No, this, this is fine. 
I don't think I will regret this choice. I might. I might. But I don't think so. Everything... Oh, no, that's... Oh, that's the wrong file. No wonder it didn't seem correct. It is... It is literally not. Okay, okay. So... I accidentally imported the wrong file from my... Yeah, I accidentally imported the wrong file from my... And then I closed... Okay, no, nope. wait, hold on. Why is this folder not opening? There we go. So yeah, so I accidentally imported the wrong the wrong file from my my background music. I accidentally imported the MIDI or a MIDI of it rather than the actual music itself. Which I could probably I could probably actually <laughs> reconstruct it, but I don't want to. That would take entirely too much time and provide me with no benefit. No wonder it didn't seem right. It was not. So that does make me a little bit concerned because now I don't know where the actual file itself is because I thought it was there. Because that's... That doesn't seem right. Is that? Oh yes. Okay, that's fine. Okay, okay, okay. It is where I thought it was. Yeah, for some reason, for some reason, instead of displaying it as an MP3, instead of displaying it as an MP3 like it is, my computer is displaying it as an MPEG, MPEG layer three, which I guess is probably what MP3 is short for. But I don't. I've never seen that it written out that much before. So I was confused. I didn't know what it was initially. But I guess it's no big deal. So now that I know where the actual file itself is, I can copy that over into the hard drive. That should be fine. Oh, and that reminds me, I should probably also install my music software and all of that onto this new computer. Again, while I have, while I am in the time that I've set aside for computer work, I might as well work on the computer, you know? And that's just how it goes. I guess one thing. There was, I think it might still be up, but there was a Humble Bundle recently for uh, various, uh, various software uh, specifically, like, yeah, specifically Vegas, the, uh, a more recent version of Vegas. I guess not, I don't think it's the most recent one, but a more recent version of, so, of not, not Sony Vegas. It used to be Sony Vegas, but Sony doesn't own the, doesn't own that program anymore. Yeah, Magix, I think, is the, the company that owns it now. Yeah. The a more recent version of of Vegas that, than the one that I use, and I did go and I and purchased that humble bundle. So I guess maybe I might. I don't know. I think probably I won't do much video editing on this new laptop until such time as I have the. I probably won't do much video editing on this laptop until I have more space on it. Because again, I'm working with very limited, working with very limited storage capacity on it currently. And of course, I guess I don't need to, you know, keep the video files on this computer for, for longer than it takes to, to, I don't need to keep them on this computer for longer than it takes to, what's the word I'm looking for? To edit them. There we go. I was just saying editing and I don't remember what the word edit is. But yes, anyway, I don't need to keep them on the new laptop any longer than it takes to edit them, basically. You know, I can put them onto the external hard drive right away after that. I guess probably I would upload them from the laptop as well, for convenience sake, rather than, you know, take, putting them onto the laptop, editing them, then putting them onto the drive, you know, taking them to the other computer and uploading them. I might as well upload them on the computer that I edited them on. 
I might as well upload them on the computer that I edited them on. I sort of lost a... lost a... It's times like that, when I'm talking quickly, that my enunciation fails me the most, I think. When I sort of start to... start to mumble. Yes, ideally I would like to avoid that. Okay, that should be fine. So with that, okay, nice. That is all of my assets imported, and everything is looking absolutely fantastic. Exactly as it should be. Okay, maybe not exactly as it should be. <laughs> okay, it's not actually completely the same. Some options, or some things are not as they should be. But we're close. Oh no, actually, no, that's fine. That's not as it should be, but I think that's more or less what it... I guess, yeah, it must be what it is. Once again, I thank you for your patience as I, as I <laughs> ramble incoherently about things that you cannot see. But yes, anyway, I was seeing some issues with one of my scenes, and I thought that that was that it had imported incorrectly or in some way, in some manner. But it seems that it's fine, actually, because I looked. Because it's the... I guess, yeah, well, we might as well take a look. Okay, yep, it's... yeah. The same issue with the text overflowing the boundaries that I set for it. Yeah, that is was occurring in the... yeah, on the laptop as well. And I thought that it just didn't import correctly, but it seems that I just haven't maintained this particular scene properly. I usually use this version of the scene rather than this one. So, you know, maybe it doesn't matter. <laughs> maybe I can just get rid of the scene, actually, because I don't use it anymore. It really wasn't, you know, it wasn't that important that I have it in the first place. It's a very minor difference, but... Oop, there we go. Wrong scene. But yeah, other than that, or, well... I was going to say, other than that, everything is as it was, but it's that's also the same. So everything is... everything was imported correctly. It's just that some of the things that I imported were... are incorrect originally, also. So, that is what it is. Adjust my posture a little bit. Stretch a little bit. Because, yeah, that is the vast majority of what needs to be done, done. But yes, so, I've got, yeah, like I said, I've got my paint, digital painting software installed. I've got OBS installed. I've got, you know, my browser. I've got some games, including the game that I'm going to be playing tomorrow. I don't think I'll need Parsec. Though, again, I might, it'll... It would probably be best to install Parsec anyway, just in case something does go wrong with my desktop. I sincerely hope that it doesn't. <laughs> I, rem I, you know, I understand that the last time I talked about a computer not working properly on stream, it, it stopped working properly. But here's hoping, you know. But yes. Anyway, so. Let's not talk about the possibility of my desktop breaking, and instead talk about the possibility of using this, using this for the sake of flexibility, you know, in case I ever just feel like playing, or feel like, in case I ever just feel like using Parsec on this laptop for no particular reason. Not because I need to, just because I want to, you know. And, you know. While we're still installing software, I might as well go ahead and install the yeah, install my music software, install my video editing software, and all that. Yeah, there's also some new music software in that bundle that I got as well. Yeah, there's also some music software in that bundle that could be pretty nice. Yeah, I haven't used it too much. The only music software that I've used extensively is a program known as LMMS. That is L2Ms 
followed by an S. It's a little bit... I feel like that's one that... I don't know if I have difficulty... I don't know if it's difficult to intuit how it's supposed to be to... Uh, eh. I don't know if it's difficult to parse or if I'm just bad at saying it. But uh, a lot of the people that I've mentioned the name of that software to did not understand what I was saying initially. Yes, LMMS, which I think stands for Linux Music Making Software or something like that. Yeah, I don't use Linux, but it was developed for Linux, I think, is the, the thing. But yes, so, anyway. <laughs> yeah, so LMMS is the only music making software that I've used extensively. I have used another another bit of software from Magix, another bit of music making software from them, which this bundle contains a more recent version of. Yes, I have used that, and I wasn't, I don't know, it's fine, it works pretty well, I just don't know how to use it. <laughs> but yes, it works, it works well, you know. I don't want to, I don't want to talk about it as though it's not as good as LMMS. Because it definitely has a lot more features than LMMS, which is good because you pay for it and LMMS is free. But <laughs> so in theory, you know, it should have if there if you're not getting more value out of a paid software than out of a free software, then either that's a really good free software developer or that's a pretty, you know, mediocre <laughs> paid software developer. But yes. So given yeah. Yeah, Vegas Pro 18, which again, I'm pretty sure is not the most recent version of Vegas, but I don't really care for having the latest and greatest. Because yeah, I don't do a lot of heavy duty editing. You know, if you've seen my VODs, then most of the editing that I do is I just trim off the, I just trim off the, you know, the time spent on that screen. Yeah, the prep screen. Yeah, I only I trim off the the time spent on that screen, more or less, and then I you know if the if the game volume is a little bit high or something like that, then I'll look then I'll lower it. My volume's a little bit high, I'll lower it. Sometimes I, one time I think, yeah, one time at least, probably not more than that. I edited out a un I bumped the microphone and edited that out. You know I've stitch some clips together when uh, I've had issues with my with OBS crashing or something like that. Yeah. Pretty pretty yeah, not not a not a lot of stuff. <laughs> I don't do a lot of again, like I said, heavy duty editing. Yeah, I do want to I do want to get a little bit more familiar with uh Magic's Music Maker software which is called Magic, Magic's Music Maker. I do want to get a little bit better with that. Because, you know, I could probably, you know, get some, a good amount of value out of it. And if nothing else, you know, I paid for it, so. <laughs> I paid, you know, a very discounted rate for it. But I paid for it nonetheless, so. You know, if you pay for something, you might as well use it. I do have a strong tendency to purchase an unnecessary amount of Humble Bundles, and then not use the stuff that's in them. I can I cannot even begin to tell you how many books I purchased in Humble Bundles and then not read. <laughs> yeah, you think I you think you may think that I'm not good at playing video games, or rather, that I'm not good at playing through video games. But if you believe that, then you should see how bad I am at, at reading through books. I beat maybe one game a year, sometimes two or three. I guess, yeah, the since streaming, the the average has shot up dramatically. Dramatically. But uh, outside of streams, you know, I usually beat one to two games a year. Maybe one game every one to two years, sometimes. But uh, with books, I have not completed a single book other than, like, um, I've read manga, <clears throat> you know, 
and uh, other manga and other sort of uh, graphic novels type books, you know, that are pretty short. I've read, I've, be I've beaten, <laughs> I've read multiple of those throughout the, the span of this year. But uh, yeah, novels, no. Uh, any sort of instructional text, no. <laughs> I have not read through the through any of those to completion, despite the tremendous amount that I have. Anyway, here's a link to that humble bundle in case anyone was was curious. Since I've mentioned it so much, but yeah. So you know, if you want to, you know, do things. If you want to edit, if you want to edit video, if you want to make music then you can basically <laughs> here's some here's some software that you can you can get for it at a at a pretty dramatically discounted rate i guess you know maybe i don't need to maybe i don't need to be the one who's offering free advertisement to to this humble bundle but you know if you can get a vegas pro 18 for 25 dollars instead of 249 dollars like it usually goes for that's a pretty good deal Something, something I might want to to share with others, you know. But yes. So, where was I? Right, I was downloading the software. <laughs> I spent so much time talking about it that I forgot that I was, want that I you know wanted it for myself. Yes. Okay. So I've got, mm, yeah, Magic Music Maker and twenty three and Vegas Pro eighteen downloaded. Let me get LMMS. Yeah, that should be that should be most of the things. Ah, Linux Linux multimedia software, actually. Or Linux Multimedia Studio. Rather. That is what it stands for. Not uh music making software. Which is, you know, not too far off. But yes. Download that. Windows. Yep, yep. So yes. Let's see. So, music making, video editing software. I've got. I already got the digital painting software. Um, what else do I need? Nothing. Nothing else super necessary. Just sort of some little, little bits and bobs, as they say. I don't know if that's an actual turn of phrase that people use frequently. But it's a turn of phrase that I've heard before. Yes. So, core temp. I use that. I want to download that. That allows me to keep track of my, you know, CPU temperature and all that. Not all that necessary, but I like to be able to, I like to be able to keep track of that sort of thing. Keep an eye on it. If you're wondering, now that I mention it. My CPU is currently at about 65 degrees Celsius on average across all of its cores. Yeah, I also use that I also use that software to track my RAM usage. My RAM usage is very high. <laughs> my RAM usage is very high usually because I tend to open a lot of browser windows and not close them because I I get distracted very easily. I go from one topic to the next topic very very fast, opening tab after tab after tab. Because, you know, I don't want to just go from one window, or I don't want to go from one page to the next page, just, you know, all willy-nilly. Because what if I need to go back to an old, old page and get something from it? And then, when I open the browser again, the next day, I restore the, the pages that I had open the last time. Because, you know, what if I... <laughs> what if there's something there that I want to... What if, that I want to reference again? And it's a vicious cycle. So, a lot of the time when I'm not on stream, because I do, you know, I always close my browser out when I'm, when I'm streaming. I always, you know, restart my computer and all that. But when I'm just using my computer casually, a lot of the time I will hover around 100% RAM usage. <laughs> Usually around 95% or so, because, you know, 100% RAM usage is near unusable. Your computer will be near unusable at that point. It's not super usable at 95% RAM usage, to be honest, but it's more so. But yes, so, core temp, I have that. 
Let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, droid cam. So that I can use my webcam. Or so I can use my phone as a webcam, rather, as I like to do. That should be... Is this? Hold on. I'm trying to remember... Actually, I should still have the, the installer for that on my computer. In my horribly, horribly disorganized downloads folder. Yes. Droid cam. Maybe I don't, actually. I don't. I actually deleted something, if you can believe it. Yeah, I feel like I've been dunking on myself a lot this stream. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I should not. I'd, I'd like to, I'd like to not do that whenever possible, you know. But yes. Um. Alright, so that should be, there we go. Droid cam. Let's see, what else? What else? I've already got Discord. Ah, live split, live split. I haven't, I haven't done a speedrun in a long time. I haven't done a speedrun in a long time, but, you know, in case I do get around to doing one again. Live split. Maybe I should do that one of these days. Do a little bit more Jamestown practice some other Tuesday, perhaps. If I feel like taking a break from, you know, the game at hand again. Yes, live split. Let's see, what else do we have here? Um, yeah, VTube Studio. Oh, right, right, right. I need to install a lot of audio-related software because I have a lot of audio re audio things that I use to make this stream happen. More than I really need to, probably, but you know. But yes, ear trumpet. I use that to manage what audio input or output or whatever is going to what source. Yes, ear trumpet. And then I need, yeah, ear trumpet. I need a uh, voice meter. I need, I need a uh, equalizer APO. And I need, yeah, the plugins for equalizer APO that I use for my computer that I use for my audio. Because yeah, that is, yeah. Equalizer APO and the replug plugins that I use are the most crucial parts of this whole, this whole, this whole um, project, basically. It is the most important, hmm, actually, hold on. Your trumpet is for Windows 10, it says. Hmm. Oh, no, never mind, okay. Yeah, I did look. I, they've got at least a screenshot of it being used on Windows 11 on the product page. Oop. Hmm. Oh. Anyway, that's... I was distracted by something unrelated. But yes. So, your trumpet should be functional on Windows 11. It looks like, so I don't need to worry about that. I like that the Windows Store, for whatever reason, has ESRB ratings on things that are not video games. So in case you were wondering, the, the software that I just mentioned, Ear Trumpet, uh, is rated E for everyone, so you don't need to worry about that. All right. So, your trumpet. Yeah, so like I said, that allows you to put your that allows you to change what sort what audio from what program is going to what source basically, which is very nice to have. Yeah, it allows you to control volume levels and stuff as well. After, yeah, after the, you know, plugins that I mentioned, the replug plugins, 
that I use. Yeah, after that, the... After that, Ear Trumpet is probably the most important, with the voice meter coming in third. I certainly don't, uh... I would certainly advise using all three of them, or all four of them, I guess, because Equalizer or Replugs needs to be run through Equalizer APO, or at least it does the way I do it. But, uh, I would definitely recommend using all four of them. But you could, if there was one, you could get away with not using it. In fact, I know some people who don't use it, who used to and who do not now. But yeah, if you, you know, if you were to not use any given one of them, probably, you could probably get away with voice meter, getting rid of voice meter the most. And really, if you're not using voice meter, you probably don't need ear trumpet all that much either. But it is what it is. All right, so voice meter is downloaded. Next, equalizer APO. Yeah, I guess I probably don't need to download. I guess I probably don't need to download Reflugs again. I could probably just get the plugins off of my computer and, you know, just copy them over. Yes, that should be, that's, Fine. Very good. Equalize your APO is downloaded. And yeah, I think probably I will just copy over, just copy over the plugins because yeah, they don't need to be installed, I don't think. I guess we might, I might find otherwise in, I might find otherwise, but I don't think that they are necessary. Of course, now I need to remember where I where they are. Um, let's see. All right, that's where they are. Okay, okay. In with the rest of the plugins, you know, in the plugin folder that I have that's labeled plugins. If you can believe it. Yes, that is that. Yes, okay, okay. So, copy those. I don't have the external hard drive plugged in, so I've got to plug that in real quick. Yeah, one thing that throws me off is the yeah, ejecting, ejecting things on Windows 11 requires you to left click on the little thing that shows you what things are plugged into your computer rather than right clicking on Windows 10 and most other previous previous ones, I think. Previous Windows versions. At least the ones that I've used. And you know, maybe it's not all that necessary. I think I read once that it's, it is not strictly necessary to eject a, you know, storage media, but I don't know, I don't want to risk that. <laughs> I don't want to be the one to risk that. Yes, I am a, a bit of a cautious sort. I don't like to take risks when when I can avoid it anyway. Alright. So I've got the plugins copied. Again, I don't think anything needs to be installed for those to work, or rather I don't think they need to be installed for them to work. Yeah, the software should just be able to, you know, recognize them. Recognize them and run them. So, now it is time to take all of the things that I've just downloaded and one by one install them. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, we're good. good. I've got everything. Let me take a sip real quick. Sit. So yeah, we are now getting close to the point where... Yeah, we are now getting close to the point where... I'm not going to be able to... Yeah, where I... 
in theory, won't be able to stream what I'm doing. I mean, like, I'm not streaming it anyway, but... Yeah, we're going to be quickly approaching a point where the... Yeah, I cannot make sure that everything is, you know, functional while I am streaming, because a lot of this is going to... You know, part of this will involve, you know, making sure OBS is working properly, which I guess, well, I mean, I can, I can, again, I can do a recording test. I can do a recording test while I'm streaming or whatever else. But, uh, yeah, like my microphone and all that. Like, yeah. Testing my microphone on the new computer. Make sure all of the plugins are working properly. I can't do that while it's plugged into this computer. And if it's not plugged into this computer, then, you know, I'm just going to be sitting here in silence for minutes on end. So I think probably... I think probably we're at a pretty good stopping point for the stream. I think we're at a pretty good stopping point here, so why not stop? But yes, you know, we haven't reached the end of the, the time that I have apportioned for myself to work on this, so the time that I spend after this stream will still be time spent as efficiently as I plan to spend it. So that's all well and good. Yeah, I'm trying to get a little bit better at time management because that has been one of my biggest weaknesses for the longest time. It's something that I have had a lot of trouble with and continue to have a lot of trouble with. But yes, so tonight, 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 who do we want to raid? Well, I suppose, as per usual, I will open up the... I'll open the floor to any anyone who would like to make a suggestion. So if anyone here has a raid suggestion, please do feel free to drop it. If not, I can always find a target myself. I'll take this opportunity to do a little bit of stretching. But yeah, it's been fun tonight. Been fun working on working on things. But yeah. We're being efficient with our time. I'm getting a stream and I'm getting work done at this and you know, stream related work done at the same time. But yes. So yeah, it looks like we're not going to have or it looks like we do not have a bet. It looks like we do not have a raid suggestion, or at least not one that I'm seeing. So tonight who do we want to go see? I think, you know what, I think I will go and see Cole. Cole and the Golem. I haven't visited them in quite a while. It looks like they're playing a card game of some variety by the name of Stacklands. Very interesting. Yes, I do like card games. This is definitely not something I can, I, it looks very interesting and fun, but I, I cannot allow myself to think about that very much right now because I just spent, you know, $800 on a new computer and, and also uh, I bought Elden Ring. So, and that's in addition to also buying, you know, $25 worth of, $25 worth of heavily discounted uh, music and video making software. So, yeah, I've spent a lot of money at the, at this e end of the year, which is not terribly uncommon for, for other folks. I guess, yeah, one thing that I didn't talk about is the, the holidays. Those are pretty good for me. I hope that they have been well for you as well. Yeah, whether whether you celebrate during this time or not, I hope that you've enjoyed, enjoyed the time. But yes, I, most of what I received uh, for Christmas presents was like clothing, either clothing or edible. Not any overlap between those two, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, I got some new shoes. I got a new uh, sweater, sweatshirt. I got a, uh, a an apron, which is nice. Like, like legitimately very nice. Like, I've been wanting an apron for, for very many years. And uh, I've just never gone... I've just never gone out of the way to get one. But, uh, well, very rarely have I gone out of the way to get one. And, the, and on the few occasions where I did go out of my way to get them, they weren't in the store that, you know, I was looking in for whatever reason. They just did not have any anywhere. So, 
<laughs> this is unironically a gift that I have very much been looking forward to, even if it was not one that I, you know, asked for or expected. It is one that, I, that has been on my mind that I, have a, that I have been wanting for a very long time. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> so, colon the golem. Let me make sure that I'm... Well, I don't need to spell it correctly because I can just copy and paste, so why not do that, huh? <laughs> anyway. Golem, the golem. Gol, golem VTuber. Yeah. Friend of the stream. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Friend of the stream. Long-time friend of, of ours. Yeah. Actually, you know, my first my first time on a Twitch stream was actually on uh, as a guest on Cole's stream rather than on my own channel. So yes, Cole, Cole's stream has been a friend of the Tiberius Vanderfield stream since before the Tiberius Vanderfield stream has basically existed in its present form, or any real form anyway. But yes, so I hope I hope you all enjoy Cole's stream. I hope that I enjoy Cole's stream because I'm going to go and watch a little bit while I'm working on computer things. But yes, the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. So, I think that's... Oh, right, schedule. So, tonight has been computer things. Tomorrow will be video game things, specifically Tales of Arise. We will be playing Tales of Arise. We will be playing at roughly, you know, 7.30... Somewhere between 7.30 and 8.30 p.m. 7.30 p.m. and 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Yeah. Then, yeah. Then on... Oh, okay, we're running out of time. So I guess uh, we'll talk about the schedule later. Thank you all for being here tonight. I hope you've had a fine night. I hope they'll continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope they will be well for the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell.